it's time for Reflections with Pastor Drayton. Yes, it is. It's time for Reflections. And today I want to share with you a message that I believe will be a blessing and encouragement to you as I share from my heart regarding three anniversary wishes. A couple of weeks ago, I began sharing uh, on the anniversary of uh, Reflections. It was our first anniversary, and so I shared a message, and then I shared a second part. Today is the third part, but instead of calling it Anniversary Wishes 3, or Part 3, I call it Three Anniversary Wishes, and I will share three of them with you today. As you may recall, as I've shared with you, uh, the past couple of weeks from my heart. I've been sharing things that have come up over the past year in these broadcasts that I believe are, are things that we need to be really concerned about, not concerned in a bad way, but concerned about enough to uh, bring action from us, that we will do something about them. And I shared about plans, God's plans for us. I shared about purpose and different things I shared about last week. And now today I want to share three more with you. Um, I don't know if this will be the last time I share on these anniversary wishes, but I know I am doing this for today. As a matter of fact, as I am sitting here to record this, I am kind of in a hurry because today is actually Tuesday, the 14th it is, or 13th, 13th of um, April 2021. This is when this broadcast is being recorded uh, it will not be released uh, on the day that I'm speaking of, I'm recording it, but it will be released a day or two later. And so as I am uh, considering everything, I'm sitting here in, in my bedroom actually, and it's getting darker by the minute. There's been another eruption of La Sofera volcano in St. Vincent, and it is getting darker with the plume of ashes coming our way. It hasn't quite gotten here as yet, but... Uh, things have been very gloomy. It's a very strange time that I'm uh, broadcasting or recording this broadcast for you. I, I looked away just now just to look through my window. Uh, and I, I want to share with you, let me get right into it. Uh, the first wish that I, I want to give you today, first anniversary wish for today, is faith. I pray that God will strengthen your faith. I remember when Jesus was going to the cross, he prayed uh, for Peter. And he said, I pray that your faith will not fail. But when you have turned or when you've, you've gotten back on your feet, then strengthen your fellow brothers and fellow ministers as apostles. And, and as I, one of the things that I shared in the past 12 months with you uh, that hit me actually quite hard is because I, I got a new understanding of not only the importance of faith, but the fact that the enemy wants to steal our faith. He wants to destroy our faith. As a matter of fact, uh, earlier Jesus had said that Satan has desired to sift you like wheat, and he was speaking to all of the disciples, not just Peter. That, that the devil wants to sift all of them like wheat. And, and I believe there's a, a shaking going on, which I shared on Sunday, and there's a sifting going on as well, as God is doing what he needs to do in these last moments of time. But there's a verse that, that I, I want to bring to your attention as I'm speaking about faith as one of the important things that we need to be concerned about and careful about, uh, full of care about, is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 7. There's an interesting uh, tidbit that I, I figured out this morning. In the book of Hebrews, the term by faith occurs 17 times. 17 times in the book of Hebrews. It occurs 16 times of the 17 times in chapter 11. And my challenge to you today, when you see this broadcast, is go to the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and read all the by faiths. You will see the great things that people were able to accomplish, God's people were able to accomplish by faith. And, and I believe, and it will come again into focus in this short message, that in the time that we live, faith is so important. It is so critical in God's end game, what God is doing. It is very critical that we have faith and that we have 
strong faith. We know that without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So the verse I want to bring to your attention ties in with the times in which we live, as well as what God has laid on my heart for things that we need to be concerned about at this time. Hebrews 11, verse 7 from the Amplified Bible. It says, Prompted by faith, Noah, being forewarned by God concerning events of which as yet there was no visible sign. I'm coming back to that. He took heed and diligently and reverently constructed and prepared an ark for the deliverance of his own family. By this, his faith, which relied on God, he passed judgment and sentence on the world's unbelief and became an heir and possessor of righteousness, that relation of being right into which God puts the person who has faith. God puts a person of faith into right relationship with himself and indeed with the world. Now, prompted by faith, being forewarned by God concerning events, of which there was yet no visible sign. Beloved, I, I saw a video that uh, Reverend Dr. Ferdinand Nichols sent to me earlier uh, in the week, and it, it, it put, put things into focus about what is happening in these end times, all the, the talk about uh, AI, COVID-19, and what it means, uh, certificate of identification, um, ID 2019 and, and I mean just just everything the 5G the implants the vaccinations the coronavirus the whole the whole nine yards and this this guy was just sharing and he was connecting the dots and saying this is what is actually happening he said this is what he believes he's not sharing it as the gospel but this is what he believes but what he put down actually made sense and, and, and this, this will feed right into my last wish that I want to share with you today. But here's what I just want to quickly bring to your attention. Noah was forewarned by God of things that he had no evidence were coming. Beloved, if you are alive today and you've been alive since last year with all this pandemic and all this craziness that's going on in the earth, let me tell you something. We are being forewarned of things that are coming. The difference with Noah is that he had no evidence. There was nothing that, that ever happened called rain before. But what we are seeing today is very clearly paralleled in the book of Revelation, which many months ago, again in the past year, I encourage all of you to read the book of Revelation. We are being forewarned about things that are coming on the earth, they are happening right now. We, we have to move by faith and prepare ourselves for what is down the road. It is not going to get better. It is not going to get necessarily easier. But it is a time that we have to have great faith in God to deal with the events that are coming our way. Uh, I, let me move on because this is not intended to be a long, uh, drawn-out broadcast. The second thing I want to encourage you with and challenge you with in this time as an anniversary wish, one of three, is spiritual growth. Spiritual growth. Interestingly, listen to what this is in the complete Jewish Bible, starting in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 5. For this very reason, try your hardest to furnish your faith with goodness in other words in the uh, the king james it says add to your faith so it starts with faith faith is the bottom line everything else uh, goes on top of that so furnish your faith with goodness goodness with knowledge knowledge with self-control self-control with perseverance perseverance with godliness godliness with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love for if you have these qualities in abundance they keep you from being what barren and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yeshua, the Messiah. Complete Jewish Bible, they say Yeshua, they will not say Jesus. So here, here is what it is. I believe, according to God's words, not matter what I believe, the Word of God says 
that we should be producing fruit. Fruit, and I think I did talk about that at some point in time in the past year. We need to be fruitful believers, fruitful individuals as Christians. And here it is, I started with faith, and this picks up in Second Peter 1 verse 5, is that we need to add to our faith all these things. So there has to be growth, there has to be progression, there has to be movement forward. Uh, we cannot be stagnant, we cannot be, be um, stunted, but we must be growing and producing fruit. So there has to be spiritual growth in your life. And if you are the same way, same way that you were 10 years ago, beloved, it is time for change to take place. If you are the same way that you were last year, trust me when I tell you this, you need to make some changes. And I'm not talking about just making a little change here or an adjustment there or giving up something for length. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you as a believer producing fruit in your life through spiritual growth when you add to your faith uh, perseverance and goodness and self-control and godliness and all these things are not just added to make us better people they're added to make us more fruitful or in some cases fruitful this ash that is falling all over our land it, it is horrible right now it is a terrible thing but in the mid to long term, it's actually good for our soil, good for our crops, good for our plants, because we have um, uh, an alkaline soil, if I remember correctly, or soil because we are limestone um, ge geological um, base. In this, our, our, our island is limestone. It, we have a very alkaline soil. Uh, what the ash from the volcano will do is add acidity and bring it to a better balance that is more conducive to healthy production of fruit and vegetables and so on and so forth. So in the mid to long term, it will be good for us, but right now it is very, very unpleasant. Let me go into the last three minutes to the third wish for today, third anniversary wish. Um, the first one I shared with you was faith. The second one was spiritual growth. And now today, the third one is peace and as I said coming out of our current circumstance listen with all that is happening with all of the coronavirus with all of the pandemic with all of the vaccinations and all of the conspiracy theories and then all the talk of blood clots being formed by the AstraZeneca and all kinds of people dying and all kinds of stuff is being said about this vaccine and people all over the world are taking different vaccines the AstraZeneca is the cheapest and I think it's the cheapest but it's the most uh, popular right now but yet 12 countries at some point in time have suspended the use of this vaccine and you know we have questions well okay if I take this vaccine do I have to can I stop wearing a mask the answer is no and you, you've seen those videos with all the questions the reality is People who put their hope in a vaccine are in trouble because a vaccine is not going to save you. But here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about peace. In the midst of all that's going on, uh, our solidarity is with our brothers and sisters in St. Vincent today because uh, their, their country is in a, in a wreck. Uh, the dust alone is messing up Barbados and we don't have a volcano here, but can you imagine all the people displaced uh, homes have collapsed, the roofs have collapsed because of the weight of the dust on the roofs and so on. It's just really a horrible situation. And my, my concern is that people's hearts will begin to fail. You know that during the, the crisis of this pandemic, there has been an increase in mental illness. People are, are having a hard time coping with this losing their jobs, losing their income, being cut off from their loved ones. It is a very, very difficult time on the earth. And that's why I bring to you as an anniversary wish today, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. This is a New Living Translation. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in 
Christ Jesus. Beloved, I pray that God will grant you his peace today above everything else, that your heart will not fail, that you will not become anxious or afraid, but you will put your trust squarely and fully and confidently in the God of your salvation. These are my three anniversary wishes for you today, and I pray that all of them will become a reality in my experience as well as in your experience, that you will experience growth in your spiritual life, that you will experience a, a surge of faith, and that the peace of God will just rule and reign in your life, in your heart, and certainly over your mind by the power of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Uh, make the most of your day, and I trust that you will find the favor and the goodness and the protection of God in everything that you do through Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you.